Nick. Hi. What are we doing? We're gonna go pick up a hay wagon that I bought on an auction. That was a mistake, but a uh, good mistake. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna win it. Bid 200 bucks on it, got it for 110. So then I rushed around trying to figure out how I was gonna pick it up. Say hi, Eve. Hi. Half a mile, turn left onto 600 East. So it is our future chicken coop for the pasture field. So works out very well, even though it was a uh, didn't think I was gonna win it situation. But we uh, have the trailer and that we rented and are in the red Take the truck. Take left onto 600 East. Headed headed north. Can you hold this please? Yep, I'm coming. It's taking them longer to load it up than it has to cut them all down. Did you hear you? She said, you're disappointed, you're not surprised. <laughs> chickens in them. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> uh -oh. oh, got another raccoon. Got a body. Well, oh, he's salty. There wasn't even, no, oh, there wasn't even. Bait in that? No, that was the one that I killed the other raccoon in, just blood. Raccoon yeah. blood. Well, evidently he can smell that fermented feed still. Yes. So. Because last night when there was no raccoon. Yeah, on. just drop it up here on top. Yep. Can we do that? <laughs> 
honey, hang on. I'm coming for you. Somebody came ill prepared shoe wise. All right, come here. Oh! oh. There we go. Watch the shovels. There we go. Yeah, honey. <laughs> Fix your sweatshirt, Dougie. I got it all messed up. whole trap in the back of the truck and take it home with us, okay? Why? Because we don't have the 22 with us. What's the 22? The, the little one that we use. It's got 9 millimeter worth this stuff. I mean, I think that's a bit excessive. Probably ruin the trap. Yeah. I would rather not break the live trap, which we use as a death trap, because you eat my chickens Sorry. Nick's taken down our five tie downs off. Uh, Dad, I think you forgot a spot. Oh, I did. This one? Did I forget that one? Yeah. All right, I'll get it. So, he's going to have to air up that front tire, too. Yeah, hopefully the air compressor still got air. It should, shouldn't it? Good. Okay. So, a little rough is this will be a fence row here. We're going to leave access to the woods on this left-hand side. Um, but this all up here will end up being fenced for the dogs and the egg layers. Um, we will end up building this out here. So you guys are going to have fun with videos and updates as we build it out here. Um, then to the kind of just edge of this, we're going to run fencing that way. Um, I'm not sure exactly how far we're going to go. Probably between one to three acres to start. Um, and then make it rotational possibly where we can segment the pasture into one acres. Um, but still be able to get the wagon through gates and everything. Eve is on a also a level because it has been a long 12 hour day between picking this up and Nick's grandmother's 90th birthday today. So, Hi. little silly pants is ready for bed. Hi, <laughs> you can actually hear the electricity. Yeah, you can. Some nights, some nights you can't hear it, but tonight you can. Electricity is the things that make our lights work in our house, and it travels through these wires to where it needs to go. That's what I've been hearing. <laughs> what? No way. Don't finish that statement. <laughs> oh, this came off. It uh -oh. unscrewed off. What? No way. Good thing you got your handy dandy Leatherman there, huh? Not enough. Daddy and the auctioneer rolled it up there. How did you guys roll it up? Oh, got air in it. She's pretty sturdy. Hey Eve, you want to hold the camera while Daddy and I get ready to push it off? Yeah. Do I have to hold it this way? Yeah, just like that. So you can see Daddy and I, okay? Okay. Mom, there's only two batteries in it. I know, honey, it's okay. So are you gonna lift the tongue up or what are we doing here? Mom, can I show it on Daddy? Hang on, leave it where it is so that way Daddy can come back this way. 
He's putting the air compressor back in the back seat. I I want to show it to the <clears throat> ground. Can I yeah, show it? Unlock it. <laughs> Mom, what does it do when we press the what does it do when we press the screen? Wow. Wow. Guys, I didn't know it could do that. Guys, I didn't know it could do that. It came off. A lot easier it went on. Here, you want those back? Oh, yeah. It didn't go on very hard, though. No. Honey, you don't got enough pounds in your britches. Mom does. Okay, let me you help don't. you out there. <laughs> Dad, you don't have enough pounds. Mom okay. does. Okay, honey. Let's, let's not that shame Mom. Hey. Good? Well, it's been a month since we've had the wagon back here. We haven't done anything with it. I went and got some free wood. The neighbor of this property is building a house, and she let us come and get some scrap wood that they were going to throw away. So that was, it'll help. You know, it's, it's not a bunch of stuff, but it'll help. So this is the second year that we've been on this property. We moved here about half of last summer about July or August of last summer so we were in the back half of last year's when we started leasing it and this year we have had some massive problems with raccoons last year we had none none at all we had no predator problems um, they went through this spring and logged some of these woods which is great the woods needed it, it helps the woods and the other trees in there be more healthy and grow better but I think it pushed the raccoons out because we lost out of one butcher we lost 10 in one night and then trapped and rehomed three raccoons from that had about a week's break and then we put another batch out here of 80 84 birds and within two nights or three nights all 84 were dead the raccoons had taken them they were coming through the side of the runs lifting up ripping off the tarps and lifting up the wire taking all the staples out they would dig underneath them they, they didn't care they weren't they were getting in no matter what we even put an electric netting around all of them and that didn't stop them at all so we ended up pulling the remaining 57 birds from the first butcher pulled those, took them back to the house uh, until they were ready to process, which was only a week. But that really hurt. Lost an entire butcher. The, the butcher that we would have done on July 4th, we lost the whole thing. So we've decided that we're not going to put any birds on this property until we can get the dogs out here. So in order to do that, we have to put electric fence up on this entire property. We're gonna do five wire electric fence with T-post. Um, I'm not worried about keeping anything out because the dogs will be here. I'm more worried about keeping the dogs in the fence. But we're not putting any birds out here it, for the safety of the birds. I mean, we're gonna spend money, yes, on feed and birds, but I, I don't want birds getting chopped up and mauled in the middle of the night. That's just not, not right for the birds to have to go through. So, We've kind of put everything on hold meat bird wise. The egg layers will come out here with the dogs. So I need to get this egg mobile built as fast as I can. It might not be pretty, but it'll at least work. So it's been, it's been a difficult year. Definitely didn't expect this. We were hoping this to be that year that we finally are able to, to move forward and and grow so we're growing we're getting the dogs out here it's something that we've wanted to do uh, but we didn't think we we're gonna do it this fast <laughs> for sure did not think we we're doing it right now so we're gonna see a lot of videos here coming up of us installing fencing 
building this, getting the property ready to put the dogs up. Uh, we have to order birds by middle of July to get the butcher date into September, and it is already June 15th. So we need to hurry on this. This all needs to happen fast. So if you want to follow us on the journey of putting up a fence, building this, bringing birds back out here, uh, maintaining this property, please like, please subscribe, please share. It really helps. Um, we want to show everybody what we do and how we do, and it might inspire somebody. You might have somebody reach out and say, hey, you're doing this wrong, or hey, I never thought of doing it that way, and, and that's, that's what we want. You know, we want to build a community and grow the community that we already have to, uh, to make this an experience for everybody, not just for us. So thank you.